Okay, right now it is tater healing day and I'm kicking my own butt here. But I'm gonna run this little manis tiller here. Let me see. So run this little manis tiller here. In between the rows, to soften up the dirt so that I can actually um, heal the taters up because, well, hone ain't easy. It's our mantra here. So, um, hold on a second. with the manis tiller thing I only do that to loosen the dirt up this is only my second time healing so I literally just take the dirt you can see my rows are really crooked too I told y'all I couldn't do it straight but then I'll just pull dirt from both sides of where it's healed up onto the plant almost covering it because taters grow up it so I'll till it this do it this way again and then next time I'll do it with straw and then that'll be it because then it'll be it'll be flowered up and hopefully I get a lot of taters. It's been a mess this year between the chickens and the donkey eating me out numerous times. But yeah, so anyhow, that's all. Just healing like so, which is literally just pulling the dirt up on it. Way easier to do when your dirt's soft. So that is why. I did that and I don't want to till again because I don't want to dig the taters up next time because I'm not ready to harvest taters yet. These have to flower and the plant has to die and all of that good stuff. And of course also... Okay, I'm done. That sucked really bad. Um, oh my gosh, I'm about to die. about died five times doing this. Yeah, this is what healed potatoes look like and honestly they ain't even all that good some of them are still too uncovered but it kind of is what it is and i give up i'm a quitter <laughs> anyhow healed taters next go around will definitely be straw because i ain't hoeing crap again yeah. That'll be about it. Thank God that's done. Taters ain't for the faint of heart, that's for sure. It's a good thing I like them so much or I'd say forget it, I ain't eating them. <laughs>